Okay, so Uedisha, thank you very much for your time today. Could you perhaps uh, start just by briefly giving an overview of the game um, for for those readers who aren't familiar with it yet? その主人公が住んでる村に伝わる、え、um, could you tell us briefly about uh, the team um, that's working on 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 uh, Wonder and Colossus? How many how many people is it, and uh, what's the uh, what's the current mood like among among um, the team? <laughs> えっと、fantastically as far as uh, critical acclaim is concerned. Uh, magazines across the world heralded it as a very excellent example of what a PlayStation 2 game should be. Uh, but it didn't sell very well. Is there going to be something done this time around to ensure the game sells better? Or will he just follow his heart again? <laughs> っていうのが、例えば、あの、内容はものすごくいいんだけど、I think one of the interesting aspects of, of the original game and now you know this one as well um, is the relationship between the characters. Could you explain um, what the relationship is like between the key characters in, in, in this game? Um, and what is it that makes uh, this relationship aspect so important to, to your games? ま、前、前にって あの、ま、効果がすごく出ているところだと思います。あとはやっぱりその、ま、広い世界を知ってるだけじゃなくて、ま、思いっきり愛を抱いて、ま、そういったその安心感というか、で、そいつがまた頼れるやつだったら、な
collision Collisions deformation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, you know, how does this enrich the gameplay? Could you explain more about the feature? で、monsters move and everything is it predefined or is it random the way in which uh, the character climbs up the monster, you have to jump from here to there, and now that it's sort of a lot more action based than before, um, um, how I mean, how well do you do you think that part of the game has been been designed at this stage? Do you work on it the same as if you were building a puzzle or a normal action game? I mean, it's very personal, so do you approach it differently? Mm -hmm. パイロットあの、Where does most of the emotion come from? Who's more emotional between you and uh, Ueda-san? Iko and now One and Colossus are both uh, very emotional games. Uh, do you think that hardware as at, is at the point now where you can actually fulfill what you want to do? Mm. Is there still a lot you wish you could do that you can't do now?
and um, they want to put emphasis on whether they, you can be the hero in the game's world. Um, it's, uh, that's sort of like the same as ego, the concept, but they, it's, they, they wanted something more dynamic. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
And then, you know, hearing the voices from the above, from nowhere, from above, he hears, you know, he feels that he has to fight against these monsters, so he decides to go and fight. Um, that's, that's sort of the opening introduction of the game that you'll see when you see the game. Um, and then from there you know that you have to go and fight the monsters. That's, that's where you actually start your actual play as a third one. Um, the stage of the game is just, you know, like I said, it's like open spaces, nowhere. Um, you don't see any other people or anything else on the stage. It's just only you and yours. And inside the stage, there are very various locations, such as you know, the wilderness, the forest. You'll see ruins. You'll see grasslands and lakes. You know, you'll see a lot of different places. And the main objective of this game for the character to do is to go and look for the Colossus, the monster. And um, it, they're just hiding everywhere in the stage, and you just go and find the monsters and fight each and one of the monsters. And the horse, like I said, um, um, he's a special partner to the character. He's, you know, he's something very important that the character won't have to work along with. So the horse is like, you know, he's intelligent, he's a partner to the character, you, and the character has to be with the horse all the time. Um, the horse is really intelligent, so he'll like sort of lead the character the way to where the monsters are. Um, he'll fight, the horse will fight with the characters and help the, character, the main character fight against the monsters. And you're, you're with the horse throughout the game. あと、その実際の挙動との戦い方なんですけれども、え、ま、このゲームの最大の、あの、特徴でもあるんですが、R1ボタンですね。ちなみに、ボタン。え、操作になります。Um, the main feature of fighting against monsters is by pressing the R1 button on the control will will enable the character to hold on to the monsters. You actually grab on to the monsters. So you see monsters, there will be monsters with various different types. Um, you know, if you see like a hairy monster, you grab onto the hair, you just press the R1 button, this will enable you to grab on and you can start finding the monster from there. で、あの、そのまま4時の方って、ま、9時のポイントに、あの、ポイントボタンで、ま、点を刺して、またネジを変えて、それを繰り返すことで、ま、最終的に挙動を倒せる。え、そういうことになります。And when you find the monsters, you have to kind of look for the place where um is really going to give a uh, severe damage to the monster. And so you climb up and you find the place and you like um for example stab the monster over and over again with a sword and um kill the monster eventually. But you have to look for that smear spot by climbing the monster. Thank you.
So obviously the monster is, um, when, he, when he feels the character climbing up, he's going to feel that something's climbing up, so he's going to try to like um, throw you off, or he's going to try to like you know get your hands on and you know, get you thrown off. So you have to sort of fight and sort of find a way to avoid being thrown off the monster and have to go keep climbing up with your one button. Um, there's different types of monsters. You'll see monsters flying in the air. There's the, um, there's really huge monsters. Uh, there's gonna be monsters on the ground. Um, there's gonna be monsters that live in water. There's gonna be just whole different, um, just really many kinds of monsters. えっと、捕まれるところと体の中に捕まれるところと捕まれないところと、メロディーに行くんでいて、えっと、ま、そこを、え、弱点が出た時に作る、ま、ルートを探したり、ま、そこを、え、捕まえるところと捕まれないところと
あの巨大なものですかりとか、えーとまあ、基本的にそのゲームを作る、まあ、姿勢としては、まあ、全く1個を作った時と、まあ、同じあのスタイルでやっています。So he's,、um, he's trying to make that, well, not he, the team is trying to make something totally different from Eco, but that their way of, you know, how they're trying to make the game is, doesn't change from Eco. They're trying their best to, you know, make whatever, the best of what they can. えっとまあ、TGS の会場でも流しているまあビデオがあるんですけれども、まあ、ちょっとだけあのバージョンが違って、まあ、あの i p h o n では流してないあのカットが、まあ、ほんの少しですけど、まあ、入ってますのでそれをご覧ください。So
Um, does anybody have any questions? I'm interested about uh, how, how it's the mechanic about the um, topping a monster. How, is, how do you do to, to maintain in, in the top of the mountain in the air of the people? Yes, and again, the gameplay, the, how do you do to go to the top of the kitu and use the sword? How is the mechanic of scaling this? You mean like the, the gameplay? Yes. Are you talking about the operation or more the gameplay mechanics? The gameplay mechanics, yes. Um, I'm not sure if that's the There isn't really like a mechanic, but um, it's just the operation is fairly simple. You don't really have to do anything, but sometimes depending on monsters, like I said, it's going to be a really huge monster. So you're going to have to sort of um, pull the monster to a certain place so you can climb onto somewhere and jump onto the monster from there because it's um, really difficult to climb on from you know, the foot or anything. But there, there isn't really a, a game mechanic or anything. So you, you can just climb and <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, how many monsters are there going to be in the game, and uh, how much time it will it take to finish the game? And just one small question: uh, Will there be any uh, things that we remember from our uh, eco, like fictional languages, and so on? Okay. Um, first of all, about the monsters, there's going to be more than 20. We, we're not can't tell you the number yet, but it's going to be more than 20. About the playtime, um, about that they haven't finished making it, so they, they're not sure yet. About 10 hours to finish the game, they won't be able to see the ending. And about the language, like Eco, um, there's going to be a weird language. Uh, it's going to be different from Eco, but there, there will be a, a special language that you won't be able to understand unless you read the subtitles. Um, I, I just said that the playtime is about 10 hours, but they're going to have little special features at the end after you finish your first round of games. So uh, when you think about completing everything, it's going to be a little bit longer than that. Um, what would you say was the biggest artistic or challenge uh, developing this game? And two of the biggest challenges, um, one was the organic collision deformation that he was talking about earlier at the Monsters, where the game field is always moving. That was a big challenge. And another big challenge was that 
um, when you're moving through the field, there's no loading time. You just keep on, you know, you just you can go through the field without any loading. So how it's, to make a game like that was a little challenge. Any other questions? Why not? Uh, uh, the part of the game that they are more proud of. Of the game? Proud, yeah. Yes. What, they, what are the um, special characteristics of the game they are more proud of? Um, that the, the concept that you can be a hero in the game, and they're proud of that, how big the, the monsters are um, in the midst of scale, they're really humongous. And uh, and the feeling that you get when you play the game, you can, you can feel as if you're actually there fighting the monster. That, that kind of feeling that you get. That you get. He personally liked the horse. <laughs> really proud of the horse. Why do we find this uh, constant theme in his games, whereas he's uh, striving for having an interactivity between two entities or two characters? want to express something something live in the game and when you want to express something that's really as if it's really living as if it's really live you have to really concentrate on making it and you can't you can't make many of them because you really have to you know um, sort of really um, work on it and make it look as if it's real you have to work really hard on making it look real so they, they can't make that much in number but um, but they want they want you to feel that something is actually you know, like it's living inside the screen it's there um, I'd like to know what um, what you want to achieve as, as game producers. Um, what is your what are your driving forces? Um, he wants to achieve to let 
as many users, the players, to get the feeling that you can actually feel <coughs> like these kind of emotions from the game. That you know, it's you know, it's a game, but you, they want to feel that it can, it, can, it can be really emotional. You can become really, um, you can really, you know, concert, concentrate in the game. And like they were saying before, that you're actually there inside the game. You get you know, the emotions that you feel there. When can we expect a European release? Mm -hmm. That hasn't been announced yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid you were going to say it. Um, uh, what about the name of the game? Uh, is it Nico 2, Nico, or what? That also hasn't been announced yet. Uh, um, we'll have that information to your manager. What is the general thing you want to say? What is the Japanese part of the main the graph, graph translation? What's the exact translation of the Japanese? It's Wanga in Colossus. Wanga is, Wanga is the name of the main character in the game, and Colossus is the okay. What is the name of the horse? <laughs> <laughs> the name is Aguro. It's A G R O. It's spelled A G R O. <laughs> We really plan to know about the background of the war, about the, why there is a temple, where, why the hero has to fight the monster. The background? Yes. Why there's a temple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you actually want to know the background story itself, right? Not where <clears throat> they got the idea or anything like that, but basically the storyline. Yes. From yeah. where? Before, before, before this story there was some of this. I don't know. 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 I um, why he goes to the shrine in the temple is, and why the girl is when they're seeking the dead, you don't know, but uh, is that because there's an old, he, there's a saying that the character believes that he has to go to the shrine to save the girl, but why the girl is in that kind of status is something that the team won't be able to re reveal. That part of the story, the concept, is the part that they want you to sort of imagine and um, have their own imagination. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the um, the who Colossus is because there was someone coughed or something. But uh, is he obviously it's, is he a monster or? Does he sort of represent all the monsters? Because if there's multiple monsters, then, you know, is, the, is he like the main monster or what? <laughs> so, um, that, um, that's something you'll find out at the end. Okay. <laughs> the process, what the process really is, and you'll, you'll find out, so they can't tell you. One last question at the back. Yeah, could, uh, I, I somehow, I feel like something was lost in the translation there. Can you explain the gameplay again and just how it works? Jump on the enemies. Okay, uh, the gameplay itself is that each giant is a stage in itself. 
So there'll be traps. <clears throat> you know, it's like a platform where there's all these traps and whatnot that you have to clear a stage. Uh, the giants themselves have different areas that's maybe, I don't know, um, sticking out that you could grab onto, but it's kind of like a maze. So you might want to start off from the ankle, work your way up to the head. But in order to get there, you have to, I don't know, uh, move around, jump onto the other leg, because you can't get to the hip um, from one leg, but there's a, a section that lets you climb up um, to the hip on the other leg. So you might want to jump onto the other leg, climb up, move on to the arm or whatever. So each giant is a stage in itself. So the gameplay is um, an action puzzle type of a game uh, that the character has to climb up. Or, uh, depending upon the monster, there'll be different um, gimmicks or different uh, traps. Um, so the player will have to find how to get to the weak point of each monster or the goal of the stage. Yeah. Would you say it's more timing based than say eco? Eco yori mo timing or Yeah. So uh it's more of a platform kind of an action game than eco more timing jumping. Okay, um, some of you have already scheduled some one-on-one -on -one time um, with developers. If anybody hasn't and would like to, we do have a few slots open. Um, thank you very much for coming and uh, hopefully you to see you